Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's find the general solution to the two-dimensional Laplace equation. Notice that this is the general form of the equation, and if we then uh, compare it to that, what we found in the previous videos, the general solution of a general form of the partial differential equation, then if we set a equals to 1, b equal to 0, and c equals to 1, we can transform this reduced form of the second order partial differential equation into what we then see to be a Laplace equation. And again, the general solution to that would be equal to this, so we have to find lambda 1 and lambda 2 by solving the quadratic equation. Therefore, we can say that this is equal to minus 0 plus or minus the square root of 0 squared minus 4 times c, which is 1, times a, which is 1, all divided by 2 times c, which is 1. And of course, we have to simplify that. So this becomes equal to 0 plus or minus the square root of minus 4, all divided by 2. So this is equal to plus or minus. Now, of course, since this is a negative on the radical, we have to use the imaginary number. That would be plus or minus 2i divided by 2, which means it's plus or minus i. And so this here is the solution or the general solution for lambda 1 and lambda 2, which then means we can write the general solution for the Laplace equation as follows. We have u, which is a function of p, which is equal to f1 of uh, what we call x plus lambda 1 y and then plus a second function kind of running out of room here let me let me clean it up a little bit more because otherwise it'll get too messy let me write it where i have a little bit more room so we can say that u as a function of p is going to be equal to f1 uh, and that would be written as x plus lambda 1 y plus a second function, let's call f2, x plus lambda 2y. And of course, these are the general function for p. So we can say that p1 is equal to x plus lambda y, and p2 is equal to x, that would be lambda 1, plus lambda 2y. And then if we plug in what that is equal to, we have p1 is going to be equal to x plus iy, and P2 is going to be equal to X minus IY as the two general solutions to the two-dimensional Laplace equation. So you can see again, now that we want particular solutions or, or more exact solutions of this, what we need to do is find some boundary conditions, and using the boundary conditions, we can go ahead and find the exact solution of that equation. But at least this is the general form of the of the solution of the two-dimensional Laplace equation, and that's how it's done.